The last time they stuck behind uh, Jackson, but Jackson comes up with the basketball this time. Doesn't look too tired that time. He's coach. not tired. He's got. He's 42. a player. He's a player. <laughs> That little nap he took on the bench obviously uh, rejuvenated him. I tell you, whatever that team meal tonight, he gets two. He gets double the team meal tonight. 96-94. <laughs> Ron Everhart said right after the A-10 tournament, they came back. And they had a practice, and they headed out on Monday. Wow, deep threes. A.D. Vasayo. 24 in the ball game for him, and it gives the lead back to the Hokies by one. That one drives you crazy. Duquesne went zone. And he makes a tough contested shot deep in the corner against an outstretched hand. Pretty good defense, but great shot offensively. Evans, a little bit too deep that time, and somehow he kicked it back out, kept it alive. Boy, I like Evans too. He's not afraid. Jackson rims out that time. But what a heads up play by Evans to keep that alive. Plus, it hit the rim, so it gave him a brand new 35 second clock. He sure did. Duquesne's going to the zone. They want to stop some penetration. The reason why they're going to this zone, they're trying to keep Virginia Tech from scoring around the basket. And they want to make Virginia Tech make a tough, contested shot somewhere on the perimeter. Great closeout by Jason Duty. Nine ties, six lead changes now. Here's Allen. Five on the shot clock. Vasile looking inside, finding out on the patience Beautiful. again and poise. You know, they're not in a hurry. Virginia Tech's doing a great job of, of allowing the game, allowing to, to, to uh, let the game come to them and get good shots. 99-96, 314 to go in the second overtime. What a ball game it's been. Head on the shot clock for the Dukes. Aaron Jackson's got to go get it. He's got to find it. Line. Shoots 55% from the floor. 51 from the line. Four years ago, this team was four or three and 24 make it. Nice job right there by Saunders stepping up there calmly, knocking down that second foul shot and keeping this to a two-point game. Here's the zone by Duquesne. And again, they're trying to find a way to keep Virginia Tech from scoring around the basket. JT Thompson hanging around that ACC logo just inside that free throw line. This is Thompson with a basketball. Hokey showing a lot of patience. Visayo, open shot, ring it up. Another wow. three ball. He's got 27. Wow. You want your good players and good shooters to recognize against the zone, it's my time to shoot it. Got to get the ball in. Got to get it in. Uh oh. Hudson, the sophomore, comes up with the steal. To his cousin Thompson with the flush. You always tell your team the most important thing is getting the ball inbound. We got to get it in. Thompson with 19. Jackson rejected, but he's fouled. He's going back to the line. If Jackson hits this shot. He has 43, which he does. He had six points at halftime, Mark, all year long, and here in the postseason. 44. For the senior from Hartford, Connecticut. 104 to 99. Hokies by five with two minutes to go. Now, what you've got to do if you're Duquesne, you've got to play defense without fouling. They're coming to trap. They're trying to create some, some situations, and Virginia Tech takes advantage of it. Great job by Virginia Tech. Great job by Thompson that time, Mark, just making sure he had the, the body, the, the position. Well, they, they did a nice job of recognizing the double team. And Virginia Tech did a good job of taking advantage of that, looking to the basket and finding the open guy. Ooh, Jackson threw it away again. Doff on all these young guys. And Everhart's response was, well, it better that these young guys will be playing somewhere else next year. Well, and that's a sign of a great coach. He inbounded to the deep corner. He steps out oh, of bounds. Wow. Great job there by Duquesne. Right there, he's right on top of that one. Bernard Clinton left refs a lot in SEC basketball games. Terrific referee right there. Oh, nice job by Evans finding Golden outside. The ball now is going to get in the hands of your best foul shooter right there, number 23. Missed two free throws in a key situation not that long ago, but 107-99, make it 108. Second straight game, they've had two players with double doubles. Virginia Tech did a great job again still in this possession, not letting Jackson get the basketball. Renzo Hudson, full denial, 
taking him out of the play. Oh, Evans takes it to the rack. A rookie out of Detroit with 16 second half points. TWA tournament team. Has, has a number of different players that have the ability to score like he has tonight with 29. And you've got a couple, two or three different guys that have that kind of potential on your basketball team. There goes Evans straight to the rack again. Easiest shot he's had all night. Double overtime inside a minute now with 56 seconds to go. 110 to 101. Back to UCLA with your Alabama team. You coach at UCLA when you won the national championship. He was a part of those as a player. and He's got nothing to hang his head about right here. His team has played phenomenally. It's not over yet. We've still got some time. 31 for Visayo. Let's say a new career high for him. Up by 11. Evans. A little bit too strong. Long rebound. Jackson. Another try. Jackson. Great defense right there with Virginia Tech. And they'll have another try. Evans, the southpaw. Rattles it in that time. And Evans now with 19 second half points. It's 112. Charts right now. 32 seconds to go. Again, here the key. Get the ball inbound. Killer game. That game might be over before this game's over. <laughs> it's a marathon tonight. <laughs> you know, one thing we've had tonight, too, both teams, they're seniors. They've got a lot of young players on the floor, but the seniors have played. The seniors have stepped up and scored Aaron Jackson and A.D. Vasile. Here comes Jackson. Lays it off the glass. He's got 46 in the ball game now. Best foul shooter again with the ball. And say, no, you hate to lose the young man at this juncture. 46 points. He's coming out. What a classy move. This guy right here. Oh, what wow. a class act right here. This crowd is a, is a basketball crowd. They appreciate great players and great play. And uh, they're showing their appreciation, which is rightfully so, to that young man. Figures all four games of the A-10 tournament this last few weeks and last month of the season. Delaney knocks down both. He has 18, 116, and 106 back up to 10 with 20 seconds to go. Now the whistle with 10 seconds to go. The year. He was the ACC coach of the year twice in his first four years. Done that. He's made this team Virginia Tech. When you're getting ready to play them, you better bring your A game now and get ready to play against a very, very good Virginia Tech basketball team. Here we go. Last five seconds. Mark Godfrey, it's been a blast working with you. Your final thoughts on this game. Well, again, what a terrific job, uh, Virginia Tech. They had a lead, lost it, came back in overtime, stepped up with a lot of courage. And what more can you say about that guy right there? Wow, what a night he had.